Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the effect of change in excitation under no load condition of synchronous motor. Where synchronous motor? We already have some idea regarding change in excitation under alternator. Now we will discuss about the under no load condition effect of change in excitation under no load condition. So first thing, what is no load? Generally, no load means if it doesn't have any load, the load angle will be the zero. Then we have the the terminal voltage generally E plus J I A axis. This is the terminal voltage. Then the reactive power equal to V by axis V minus E cos del. V minus E cos del. This is the formula. First, we will discuss about the normal excitation. That means it will not having more excitation or it will not having less excitation. It will have the normal excitation. That is, we can write E cos del value equal to the V. Normal excitation means this both are same. That means I can simply say that here under no load condition E cos 0 will be equal to V. Then E and V both are same. E and V both are same. So now the E vector is like this. Then the V vector also like this. Then automatically the armature current will be the we can simply say it, it is a 0. When both terminal voltage as well as excitation EMF are same magnitude that means the current is zero. So from that we can write the active power the active power equal to V into IA cos pi. Then IA value zero then active power is zero. Then Q V into IA sin pi. Then reactive power also zero. So when the synchronous motor under no load condition if it is operate with normal excitation the active power as well as the reactive power both are become zero both are become zero next case over excitation over excitation means that is we can simply say the over excitation means e cos del value is greater than the v here the del value is zero therefore e is greater than the v E is greater than the V. Mm, when E is greater than the V, we can write the equation is like this. So, this is the E vector and V is less than this vector. This is the V. And the armature current value is like this. This is the armature current. So, after 90 degrees armature current, V, E are like this. Then, then we know that the difference between terminal voltage and EMF is J I A X J I A X S so J I A X S that means the combination of terminal voltage and the drop will give the induced EMF induced EMF so now we will give some statements here that is here when the over excited synchronous motor under no load condition the armature current IA leads V by 90 degrees look at here this is the armature current it leads E by 90 degrees then the machine operate at zero power factor leading then operating power factor is zero power factor leading here the effect of armature reaction is purely demagnetization then at this condition the magnetization is purely demagnetization that that means loss of magnetization flux will be decreases flux will be decreases so here under no load condition the power equal to v into ia cos 90 cos 90 then cos pi and sin pi we can simply say that then it become 0 
నెక్స్ట్ రియాక్టివ్ పవర్ క్యూ ఈక్వల్ వి ఇంటూ ఐఏ సైన్ నైంటీ దెన్ రియాక్టివ్ పవర్ విల్ బికమ్ వి ఇంటూ ఐఏ హియర్ ద యాక్టివ్ పవర్ ఈస్ జీరో అండ్ ద రియాక్టివ్ పవర్ ఈస్ వి ఇంటూ ఐఏ సో finally by these two conditions we can conclude that an over excited synchronous motor behave as a capacitor called synchronous condenser synchronous condenser which is used to improve the power factor and improve the voltage regulation also so whenever synchronous motor under no load condition it will be acting as it will be acting as a synchronous condenser and it improves the power factor and the voltage regulation so generally here the reactive power q will be negative reactive power negative means lose its reactive power we can name it as the lose its reactive power lose means the reactive power is supplied to the other machine that's why it is called the synchronous condenser synchronous condenser okay so an over excited machine and a no load condition it will be acting as a synchronous condenser and reactive power is a negative next under excited machine here just look at here under excited machine itself the reactive power formula you know that q equal to v by xs v minus e coster v minus e coster why it is v minus e coster in the synchronous motor turner voltage has higher value compared with the excitation voltage right here in the under excitation condition we can simply say that v is greater than e coster v is greater than e coster then q is become the q value is become the positive value because here cos del value is zero that's why v is greater than e v is greater than v so simply we can name it as like this here the e value is low value compare with the terminal voltage v and the armature current is the ia armature current is the ia and the combination of both this is j into ia xs j into ia xs and we can call it as current lags the voltage by and look at here here the voltage is there current lagging right just look at here armature current lags voltage by 90 degrees so look at here this is the armature current it lags the voltage by 90 degrees the machine operate at zero power factor lagging then this is called the zero power factor lagging and over excited machine it will be zero power factor leading here zero power factor lagging here the effect of armature reaction is magnetization so here the name itself it will be acting as magnetization what is the magnetization synchronous motor will take reactive power will take the q in this case synchronous motor lose its reactive power that means it supplied it acting as supply reactive power supply but it acting as reactive power receiver reactive power receiver okay right next next so this is the fractal diagram here the e and v like this ia is like this next point and under excited synchronous motor no load behaves as inductor which is used to decrease the power factor such that voltage profile is maintained a constant the application is it is acting the synchronous motor uh, under excited synchronous motor will be acting as a inductor which is used to decrease the power factor such that voltage profile will be maintained constant voltage profile will be maintained constant okay right. next here we will write 
the power and reactive power values is like this you know the active power p equal to v i a cos pi v i a cos pi cos pi means cos uh, the angle between voltage and current is 90 degrees then we come the zero then what about the reactive power reactive power q equal to v i a sin pi is sin 90 then it becomes v into i a v into i a okay here v into i a finally here generally we already written here e cos del is less than v then q become the positive and q should be the absorb q is the absorb okay q will be the absorb that means the reactive power is taken by the synchronous motor reactive power is taken by synchronous motor okay this is about the synchronous motor under no load condition no load condition in the normal excitation it will be active power reactive power both are zero in over excitation it will be acting as synchronous condenser and in under excited it will be acting as uh, inductor that means capacitor will give the reactive power and inductor will take the reactive power okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you